Okay, so I said that I was going to come back to do the exponential, and we can't use a calculator, we have to do it by hand. So I'm going to set up a table for myself with x first, which in this case is p. Leave some space in the middle, and then I'm going to have an m. I'm going to pick off points that I've kind of colored in here, ones that go right through the axes. So I've got a 0 and a 2, a 1 and a 3, a 2 and a 5, 3 and 9, and the last one I have here is a 4 and a 17. So I'm going to do what I always do here, which is check for first differences. Difference of 1, 2, 4, and 8. And I notice those are not the same. I can also kind of pick up a pattern that there being time, so I might check for the ratio. Again, it's bottom over top. So I can do something like 2 over 1 is equal to 2, 4 over 2 is equal to 2. I can see that the ratios are constant. So this is going to be my base. So I'm going to take that 2 and put it here to the power of x, or in this case p. And I need to figure out what my question mark term is. So 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. And 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. So I want to look. What do I need to get from this column over to that one? And for each of these, it appears that I need a plus 1. So my question mark term is a plus 1. Because 4 plus 1 gets me to 5, 8 plus 1 gets me to 9, 16 plus 1 gets me to 17. It works for all of them. So my rule is going to be y, which is m, is equal to 3 to the power of x, p in this case. Sorry, not 3. 2. My base was 2. My constant difference was 2. Plus 1. And that would be my rule.